A representative for Beyonce has confirmed to Insider the lyric containing the word spaz in her new album will be changed as well. In the statement from Beyonce's team, they claim it was not used intentionally in a harmful way, which, by the way, is true. I actually, I can't believe I'm defending the Queen Bay here. I'm now one of the Praetorian guards for the Queen Bay, but apparently I am. Ben Shapiro's uh, Queen Bay. He's on Team Bay. He's Bay, Bay, Bay. Uh, so there he is now defending uh, Beyonce. In case you couldn't tell from the quick pace of that conversation, that he's defending her on these lyrics that have been getting pushback, which she is willing to change. We're going to go into details of how that was. Beyonce says that she will remove an ableist slur from her new album Renaissance after facing online backlash and criticism from disability campaigners. The 40 year old singer received rave reviews when she debuted her dance inspired seventh studio album on Friday. But she came under fire over the weekend when fans noticed the inclusion of a derogatory term in the song heated. You guys are probably wondering what word it was. Although the word spaz is often used colloquially to describe freaking out or going crazy. It's derived from the word spastic, which is considered demeaning to people with spastic cerebral palsy. Now, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the disorder affects a person's ability to control their muscles, especially in their arms and legs in case you didn't know. So again, uh, uh, giving random fun terms for what people suffer through or have to endure is the basis for why you wanna change something like this. Uh, so Shapiro didn't see anything wrong with it. And he's actually surprised that he's backing the Bay, Queen Bay. But you know what? This is. A <sighs> This is the reason why I think Shapiro's having fun with this, but he has this like still across the board type of persona when it comes to complaining about music and lyrics. I think he's having fun. I think he's trying to inject some kind of weird, I'm the square fun into this entire conversation. You know why? Because he did this. <laughs> it is um, it is amazing. These, these are the standards in our society. Using the word spaz in a song, totally bad, horrible, remove it, offensive. Having full scale songs for children about the moisture state of your vagina, that is Shakespearean wonder. It is. I mean, that's just the stuff that you should play for your kids. It's very empowering, empowering stuff. So I feel like I feel the left is very strict on its language and very loose on its morals and ideas. But the right tends to be a little looser on language and a little bit more strict on its morals and ideals. Totally looser on language. Uh, in case you guys didn't know what he's talking about, remember this, remember this, remember this. He's funny. This guy's funny. Beat it up, N word. Catch a charge. Extra large and extra hard. Put this P word right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. Hop on top, I want to ride. I do a kegel while it's inside. Spit in my mouth, look in my eyes. This P word is wet. Come take a dive. How would you, we, we had your uh, Democratic conspiracy theory. What do you think of my Ben Shapiro conspiracy theory, Jessica? Uh, yeah, that he knows he's being he's fun. having he's fun with secretly us. a comedian uh, exists to be laughed at, right? We have a lot yeah, of comedians who true. they tell jokes, they know they're funny, they want you to laugh with them. Perhaps Ben is inventing this new kind of comedy where he expects people to laugh at him. I mean, welcome to the the Bayhive, Ben. Seriously, <laughs> and and this this word, I, I'm not sure why he didn't address Lizzo, uh, because Lizzo also had the word spaz in one of her songs, and a bunch of her fans are in the UK, uh, and it's more like widely known that this is a word that is offensive to people in the UK, and and now that Beyonce's used it in an album, hey, the right thing to do is be like, I'm sorry, I didn't know, I'll take it yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, that's what Lizzo did, and kind of set set a precedent that now Beyonce is taking as well, so it's good. But I I I think your conspiracy might be right about Ben being funny. On purpose. You know what? Considering someone said that you're this uh, consummate professional and is feeling so much more comfortable, I'm gonna take that as an expert opinion that backs up my conspiracy theory. <laughs> just saying. I'm gonna go roundabout and make sure it's not just because it benefits me. <laughs>